Hello, everybody. It's Economic Spy. And I just wanted to show you another twist to how the loss of purchasing power of this one dollar has consistently dropped. And I think you might actually be surprised. Okay, first off, we'll start at 1999. Remember, party like a 1999. Remember that one? Well, don't worry. We have not been partying with our purchasing power. I'll tell you that. Anyhow, it goes something like this. Ever since 99 through 2000, we lost three cents of purchasing power in one year. Doesn't sound like too bad of a deal, does it? Now from 99 through 2001, six cents of purchasing power. Six cents. From 99 through 2002, eight cents of purchasing power. Then from 99 through 2003, during that span of time, we lost a dime of purchasing power in that time frame. Now from 99 through 2004, thirteen cents, folks. Thirteen cents. Then now we have 99 through 2005, 17 cents, folks, 17 cents since 1999 lost. Now we're doing 99 through 2006, and you can see we lost 21 cents of purchasing power. Now, pre-crisis levels, 1999 through 2007, 24 cents, just shy of a quarter dollar, lost in purchasing power. Now we're during the crisis, where so-called cash is supposed to be getting more valuable because everyone's running to it, right? During a deflationary time, right? Well, not this time, down 29 cents in purchasing power. So we actually accelerated now. Now along came the last year for this 10 year example from 99 to 2009. 37 cents folks. 37 cents has been lost since 1999. I know that doesn't sound like a very big deal but let's take a look at something that is a big deal. Let's give this dollar a little competition. Let's see what happens now. And actually, let's give them the benefit of the doubt this time. Let's not do this quite yet. Let's just see how the Federal Reserve has given policy to the dollar. Let's take a look, see what they did once. Oh, wonderful. Federal Reserve is just absolutely wonderful. 1913 through 2009, $22.30 lost in purchasing power, folks. Lost in purchasing power. Federal Reserve's got to learn from this stuff. See, maybe maybe I rub it and give it some good luck here. Maybe that'll do it. Twenty-two dollars thirty cents lost in purchasing power, folks. And now let's see what the Almighty Dollar can do against this. All of a sudden now, folks, 
the dollars trembling in its feet. Oh, oh God, a silver dollar. Oh, God, goodness, goodness sakes. Bam! $26.70 in loss of purchasing power since this was a dollar in circulation, folks. Are you starting to realize what the value of paper when controlled by an independent organization by a country's government that does not have authority over nor do they want to take actions on it because the actions they have to take are too tough one dollar in purchasing power power face value legal tender I did a ninety percent silver legal tender face value three series videos I urge you to take a look at that unfortunately the melt value of this is much much higher than one dollar but that's because this is what we're using now we're not using this because you know what the purchasing power loss of twenty six dollars and seventy cents of this versus this would be be at least worth one dollar wouldn't it but in fact today this is worth at least sixteen dollars just because of its silver content folks when you put these two up next to each other unless this is either backed by a hard asset such as this will this ever be worth anything this is why we're going through the problems you are right now folks and if you believe in this stuff right here then unfortunately you're gonna have to deal with the pain when it get when it gets here because we're starting to enter into the, into a drastic phase as I'm making this video this folks silver and gold too is what you gotta be running for right now not this this is ninety percent now be careful I've made ninety percent videos in the past and in fact I talked to a director at the United States Mint serving on the board of directors and he says because this is considered legal tender at face value it will always be accepted at face value I urge you to go talk to a director of the United States Mint and see if you can get a different answer because that's the answer I got that's not my opinion that's facts folks so if you believe in using this for barter for its silver content I hate to be the first one to break it to you, but you're not going to be able to do that. You will be able to have this for its silver content, for inflationary protection. You will have that benefit. So I'm not bashing 90% by no means, because 90% is actually very good when it comes to fractionalizing the amount of silver you own so you can get a higher appreciation for it when you decide to sell it when prices are much much higher than they are now I hope you learned something in this video folks this is economic spy that's what it should look like folks later